Yes, the night has come and we have to eliminate our daytime lighting. Alright, we have to get rid of our sunlight. And yes, the way we do it, you hit that subscribe button and with the bell icon. And with the tip is the rendering is going to be awesome. Uh, the rendering needs to be awesome that we need to work on the technique the nighttime lighting by the end of the video you will be able to use these techniques so the first thing if we enable the interactive rendering as you can see we have the sunlight on so just select the sun all we need to do is and let's bring it down the height this is the height let's say minus seven minus 7 and then we press 8 on the keyboard and then let's turn this off all right so this is dark now we will bring in our own lights to illuminate the scene okay so so this is like our beginning point fine let's close this and we start uh, turning on our lamp side lamp side table lamp just click and then click and drag let's make this sphere and maybe let's give the value 2 the first thing I would like to do is no matter where this position is alt a and click on the sphere here and just check all of these and press ok center center press ok so let's bring in our interactive so this is how the result is let's increase the intensity 100 what i would like to do is just shift drag to copy and select instance and i will do the same thing alt a and click all of these are checked click ok so now i have the lamp done let me bring in the spotlights the ceiling spotlights okay so the way i will do it i'll go to the top view and then select my corona light and let's change this back to rectangle click and drag so i will give the value let's say 15 by 15 centimeter okay and then i'll position it somewhere here and let's give it the warm color let's say 4000 or 45500 fine i think i will do the same thing here let's give the value warm value okay so the first thing i will do is go to my front view to adjust the height something somewhere here so the height is good so let me copy it somewhere here instance and then select both of these and then copy it down somewhere here instance fine now we'll go back to the camera view and let's turn on the interactive rendering and see the result whoa okay the very first thing what I would like to do is can you see this select the light and let's turn off the direct visibility I what I would do is turn off all of these okay so we will bring in the spotlight that is visible just for the visibility purpose okay this is to illuminate the scene fine now I think I need to bring in the light for the floor lamp okay so what I can do is if you go and select light so you can easily select light and what I can do is increase this gizmo so we can easily select the light as well okay so just shift click and drag don't make it instance and now i will click sorry press alt a and click 
let me bring this back to all and then click the shade and then all is checked center center click OK so now this is in the center let's turn on our interactive lighting and see the result if I just want to focus in this area click and drag and change the value change the value let's increase the intensity maybe 140 maybe 300 let's click this away when we click the spotlight here there's one setting that will change the look and feel of the entire scene so if we come over here and adjust this directional light directionality now this is the value that I would like to enter 0.5 now see the difference can you see here how the sofa with the shadows and the light hitting it's looking cool okay so this is already looking very good now here's the cool part let's turn on let's turn on bloom and glare click this can you see the effect it's showing a little bit glow let me just enter the value 5 see the glow here and a nice subtle glow over here it's looking very nice so the remaining part is to add the visible spotlight for the ceiling so let's do it I will create a simple circle so we'll go to the top view come here control right click circle click extrude and then we can give a value let's say 2 isolate click this and we can inset it okay I can detach this okay detach maybe a different shade something different and then click create new select light material corona light material corona light material and then click apply let's make it material color now we can see it so if we increase the intensity let's say maybe five you can see the result but what I would like to do is turn off the emit light we don't want this to illuminate the scene turn this off so this intensity will help us with the glow part okay I can just apply a white finish or something and then select group it group take this and stick it to the ceiling like this and we will adjust the position as per our camera let's turn this on interactive yeah as you can see so it's giving us that glow effect all right and we can actually make it warmer something warmer so that will do the trick that's how you get your nighttime lighting done okay thank you very much for watching and do not forget to hit that like button subscribe button and that bell icon thing and see you next time